My God, Mary, what more could I have done? Nothing. But you must see we're not well suited. We'd never be happy. You won't be happy by the time I'm finished, I promise you that. Of course, I'm grateful. So you should be. I'd buy your filthy scandal. I keep it safe from prying eyes. And why did the papers leave you alone over Beach? Why has there been nothing linking to the great Earl of Grantham? I suppose you stopped it. With threats, bribes, calling in favours, yes, I stopped it. Papa will be so thankful. You don't think it holds now, do you? You don't think I'll save you or him for one more day? And you wonder why we wouldn't make each other happy. Mary, you're quite all right. Oh, here he is. The man who can smile and smile and be a villain. Is she not to be trusted even to get rid of me without your help? I heard shouting. Lavinia knew it, you know. She knew you never loved her. Don't you dare. Well, she said it once. It was late and she was tired. You two were locked together in the corner of the room and she said, if he could just admit the truth, then all four of us might have a chance. A liar. I'm not a liar. No, I am many things, but not that. She regretted it, of course, but she said it. You bastard. Stop this at once! Oh. I presume you will be leaving in the morning, Sir Richard. What time should I order your car? How smooth you are. What a model of manners and elegance. I wonder if you'll be quite so serene when the papers are full of your eldest daughter's exploits. I shall do my best. Oh, what on earth's the matter? I'm leaving in the morning, Lady Grantham. I doubt we'll meet again. Do you promise? Sorry about the vase. Oh, don't be, don't be. It was a wedding present from a frightful aunt. I have hated it for half a century. 